Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us again today. Well, today we're going to be having a quick look at the latest release from Shadow Systems, which is the CR920X. Now, this is the ultra-high-capacity version of the CR920, which is a popular offering from Shadow Systems. Is the extra capacity the only thing this pistol has to offer? Is it going to be a good option for carry? Well, we're going to answer those questions and a bit more in just a minute. Once again, welcome back. Thanks for being with us today. If this is your first time coming to the channel, or if you've watched our videos before and just haven't had the chance before now and you like our content, please consider subscribing. You can locate that subscribe button in the lower corner of your screen there. Or if you're on a mobile device, you can scroll down below the video and you can hit the subscribe button that way. It's a simple thing that helps out a whole lot and we really appreciate it. So, <clears throat> we take a look at the CR920X here. Obviously, all these little Shadow Systems pistols are... Um, very similar to uh, obviously some Glocks that are out there of the same size and capacity. This is no different. So of course we're going to compare it with the thing that makes the absolute most sense, which is the Glock 43X. And of course this is simply, like I said, this is always just strictly a, a size comparison to get you an idea of what's going to be like to carry. You know, if you're used to carrying a Glock 43X and you want the upgrades and the, the capacity that you get out of the um, CR920X, we already know what it's going to be like to carry it because they're, you know, virtually the exact same size. There's a lot of other similarities and differences that will stand off between these, but we're going to do all that in the feature section in just a minute. So let's just jump right into the features, but before we do, let's take a moment to thank our friends over at Don's Weaponry for providing us this beautiful example of the CR920X by Shadow Systems. Don's Weaponry is a huge supporter of firearm safety and education, and we can't thank them enough. So let's do a quick safety check here, make sure that our firearm is clear and safe, and you can see that we are. So, as we start talking about the features, um, there's going to be a lot of uh, comparisons I'm going to go ahead and refer to between this and um, a very close counterpart, the 43X here. <clears throat> but we're going to start at the top and work our way down like we normally would. Um, first and foremost, now on this particular one, you've got a white dot sight and you've got a steel sight on the rear. Very, very good visibility here. Um, I usually like to have something either high vis or glowing front sight, so I think this is a very acceptable setup. They do offer a variety of sights for this, so you can get a tritium sight, you can do other things with this. You may notice that there is a optics uh, cut here, and uh, this will fit the uh, the more slender, like the K uh, series mounts, because it is that slimmer slide, so that's good. It comes prepared to fit a number of different uh, footprints. You've got some pretty good serrations here on the front and the rear. Um, very good. So whether you had gloves or bare hands, I think it would be very easy to hold on to. And you've got a little accessory rail here on the front. Now, you've got a lot of extra texturing here. You may notice here that you've got this on the front. You've got a nice, really good texturing sides of the, of the grip here, back and front. It's been done really nicely. And, you know, I like the, the 43, but, you know, it's, it's really smooth. It's got that kind of basic little um, dot grip that Glock has on there. And, you know, a lot of people are using this um, forward part of the of the grip now. Now, I don't really do that. I see, it, you know, people are starting to do a lot of this. I don't really hold my hands that far forward when I'm using a gun like this. My, my thumbs are usually going to be a little bit further back. Um but I see people that do it and they like it. So if you'd like to use that grip, it's nice that you have this on there that they've taken the time to put this in here. So it's pretty nice. Um, trigger guard. It's like a typical Glock trigger guard. It's, it's big enough. I like a pretty good sized trigger guard, but that'll do. Um, the magazine release is practically the same as a standard Glock magazine release. But instead of a bunch of tiny little uh, cuts in the plastic, you have some wider apart space little cuts in there and so the release it feels just the exact same as you know a standard glock magazine release and the trigger uh, to me the trigger doesn't feel a ton different than a standard glock it's a little bit better and i'll explain that more in a second especially when we get to the range section of course like any glock you've got your 
slide lock and release here and it is just of course on this side and of course to take it down like any Glock or Glock clone you have the little levers here on either side that you pull down together um, you know you have to pull back slightly pull these down and the whole works goes forward to disassemble so if you want to do that that's how you'll do it um, and of course once you get that off you'll have your your spring and your barrel come out so you can do your basic cleaning and all that um, we're not going to do that here right now i mean i think most people are pretty good on the glock takedown procedure um, the grip leads me to the next thing i was going to talk about when you really get into your differences between these um, the 43x like i say these two are you know right at the same size and the 43x is a 10 round uh, magazine so it's 10 plus one capacity and as i said there are some different you know options floating around out there for aftermarket magazines and such but with the shadow systems they have some 15 round magazines that actually come with the firearm so you get 15 round capacity right out of the gate and they also offer um optional 18 round extended magazines so you can actually get your capacity up to 19 rounds um, in this gun so that's that's a lot now for me since we already have this longer grip um, because it is this you know platform the, the fuller size grip has a lot of advantages i think as far as control and uh, and comfort which we'll talk about at the range here in a minute i like having the feel of a full size gun and something that's still compact but i think i'm happy enough with 15 i don't know if i'd want the extra um extra length that you would get you know from that larger magazine but that's just me a lot of people are quite okay with an extended mag and i do think it's great that they have the option so looking it over you know with all they give you and the quality that goes into it and um you know think about it just the magazines alone what you'd have to spend in money to uh to upgrade a pistol to get to this you kind of get a lot for your money all built into one package with the shadow systems so what's it like to shoot the shadow systems versus, say, a similar Glock? Well, let's get this out of here real quick. I'll do another quick check here for you. And same with the Glock here. So a Glock trigger, to me, most of them are just, they feel the same. There's some slight variances between different Glocks that I own, but pretty much when I put my finger on a Glock trigger, I'm used to the same little squishy take up right here. And then I'm, I'm in it and it snaps back pretty predictably. It's got a good, but not great reset. And then you're back into that little snap. I think Glock triggers, um, they, they duplicate their performance very well. Like I said, they're not great triggers, but they're good triggers. They do the job and they and they do it repeatedly. So if you take these shadow systems here and we do the same thing with the trigger. So when I get into it, I don't have the mushy feeling. What I have is kind of a quick set. It it's kind of sets immediately into this wall. So I pull it, it's there, and then I come in and it breaks really clean. You reset. It's a little bit shorter reset and then another clean break. The main difference between these triggers, the weight is very similar, but there's a much, much better reset on the shadow systems than the standard Glock trigger. And for a lot of people, myself included with shooting, I really like the shorter reset. Um, with the way I shoot, I sort of get my sort of get my hands in a certain position and i sort of set myself up to kind of feel through that reset and i like a shorter reset i think it uh, helps with shooting i think you know getting back on target immediately getting those shots i think a, a shorter reset is really helpful with that so it's a great shooting little pistol um, and like all pistols of its type of course it's not particularly picky you can put whatever kind of range ammo you want through it um, you know the pmc um, smb here no problem of course there's never going to be a test done here without the the sig ammo 124 
and the 115 both. Um, I always try these because I get varying results on which one is more accurate. I also am a big fan of the, the gold dot here, the spear, uh, the 124 and 9 millimeter. So out of all of these, um, I had a different winner than I typically do, and that was the um, gold dot. Out of everything I shot, this was the most accurate projectile um, to come out of the gun. Now, once again, when I say that, I'm not telling you that if you go down and buy a box of this ammo that will be the most accurate. I'm telling you that of several boxes of each that I shot between this and the SIG and range ammo of varying types, the best grouping that I got was with this particular projectile. And it was done in random order. I shot magazines of all kinds in different orders. So it's more, it's more about how well I shoot the gun and which ammo I got the best results with, which will be different than what you do. But the bottom line is, is that it's a good shooting gun. Um, it seems to be uh, put together well. It's got a great trigger. I love the reset, and it seems to be very reliable. And of course, that's exactly what you want from a gun that you plan on carrying on an everyday basis. So what's it like to carry the Shadow System CR920X as your daily carry? Well, like I said, there's a lot of different ways you can carry a gun like this. This is right on the borderline of something that I would pocket carry in like a cargo pants. It's just a little bit bigger. If it had a little bit smaller grip, I would probably do that. Um, normally when I carry a 43X, um, I do it in a, a Galco Combat Master, which is this holster right here. I actually like this holster quite a bit. Um, my 43X, very comfortable to carry in this, and it has a nice little cant built in very very comfortable to carry and so i took my shadow systems and put it right exactly in that same holster and it's just perfectly comfortable um, i carry a lot of glocks in this particular holster just because i like the feel um, this puts it very close to my body um, i've carried a variety of inside the waistband and outside the waistband holsters and over time I'm actually moving a lot more toward outside the waistband than just making sure I have enough um, clothing to cover it, you know, wearing a longer shirt on the outside because I just feel like that the gun feels more secure to me when it's on the, you know, strictly two loops, you know, like in this case, the belt goes through both sides, it holds it firmly in place. Um, it feels very snug inside the holster, and uh, so I feel like it's secure. But it's also easy for me to get to, and if I need to reholster it, it's not going to be a big problem either. So um, that's kind of my preferred way of doing it. And also, in that type of holster, I don't really notice the weight um, because it is a little bit heavier than the 43X just because, obviously, it, it holds more ammo. you got to remember that. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but, you know, when you're carrying five more rounds of 9mm in the gun than you normally are, that's a little bit of weight to consider. Small things add up, but using a proper holster, it feels great. So there's no reason that this couldn't be a really nice everyday carry if you're already interested in that size and style gun. Overall impressions of the CR920X by Shadow Systems. Well, to me, this is a, this is pretty easy. Um, so once again, it, it's, it's sort of just about features, but it's also about comparing features. And once again, you know, these guns are different and there's things about them that are supposed to be different you know shadow systems obviously um from the ground up has done some things entirely different than on say some of the we'll call them glock counterparts or the designs that inspired them um, but when you look at it just some simple things the the craftsmanship that goes into it um obviously there's a lot better you know grip texture serrations and things like that um having the optics cut already in the gun is really nice um having the higher capacity magazines with the gun that's a big deal because let's just say that you were going to carry something like the 43x and you were buying the aftermarket magazines well they're not cheap and by the time you bought a couple of magazines, you spent, you know, at least, a, you know, probably a hundred bucks or whatever. It's got a better trigger. Um, so everything about the gun feels a lot better. It's, it gives you the advantages in your hand 
you know, it feels like you're shooting a full-size gun. It has that type of comfort, but yet it's still a compact gun that's easy to carry. Now, if you buy a 43X, they're going for what, you know, 450 or whatever, maybe a little more, depending on where you um, look at one. And this little shadow systems, the way this one's configured is around 600. If I'm making that comparison, um, the difference in money, to me, it's a no-brainer with what you get with all the upgrades. Just the magazines alone would be worth the money. But you do get a better trigger, a better design, optics cut, you know, and the magazines. So to me, um, it's a no-brainer. The money's worth it. And um, to me, this is a... If you're a fan of, of these pistols and you're looking for performance, you know, you know, upgrades built in... You can buy a gun and you can change all the parts out in it and hope that they work the way you want them to. Or you can buy a gun that's already custom made with all the goodies on it. And I'm more of a fan of buying a gun that's already made properly, you know, tested. I know it's going to work right. And the Shadow Systems, they just do such a great job with these. So I think it's a great choice. It's a great shooting gun. It's a good looking gun. And it has fantastic capacity. And remember, you know, you can go all the way up to the 18 round mags if you want to, to make this a 19 round um, carry gun, which is just insane. So it's got a lot of good things going for it. And for what you pay for, you're basically getting a lot of upgrades would have cost you a lot more money to buy them separately. You're paying less to have them together in the shadow systems. And that's the beauty of their designs. All right. Well, that's going to do it for today. As always, we thank you for being with us. We'll be back very soon with another video for you. So until that time, everybody, please stay safe and have a great day. Thank you.